name is Mikhail Sedbon and I'm presenting my work Control in Biotechna in Kersnikova. Um, so Control is an installation that put 10 unicellular organisms in competition playing a video game. And when the 10 organisms have finished playing, there's going to be an artificial intelligence who will modify their environment in order to optimize their game in the next round. Um, the game to play is called The Game of Life. It is a thought experiment designed by a British um, mathematician in the 70s. That basic um, understatement of this is that with very simple set of rules, super complicated pattern can emerge. And the organisms who are playing this game are called the stymals or Physarum polycephalum. And um, I'm working with those organisms because even though they are unicellular, they do exhibit very, very complex uh, cognition pattern um, that get embedded in decision-making uh, processes that you can observe for, um, how they move through space. So this is a biocomputer that has been designed to monitor and control uh, Physarum polycephalum electrical activity. Um, it is made of two stacks of five um, receptacles for petri dishes that you can think of as places for biosensors and a computer that computes all of these um, data into this video game. Um, the um, environment control mechanism consists of um, modulation on light impulses um, that put together with the sensing system allow the computer to sense um, the um, phenomenon that plays inside the organisms. So the slime molds are grown in between two electrodes and the difference of potential between those two electrodes um, is measured. Um, this, uh, as the electricity will grow throughout the body of these unicellular organisms. And this uh, gives us information about, um, about the organism. And this is, this is the information that is used as gaming data. So the game of life is a game that is um, played in a pretty special way. So the way it works is you set up initial conditions and then the rest of it is unfolded by an algorithm. Um, what they do is actually defining these initial conditions based on these electrical signals. The algorithm that runs the simulation, which is the game of life, takes care of the rest of it. So I started working on this project um, as I was doing some research on the relationship between how we conceived technologies and how we explain how things work in the world. Um, it's it gets strike to me that like uh, the modern metaphor that is used um, to explain how societal things are organized or yeah the, the politics of power at play in our lives is mostly linked to how we talk about software or software hardware stacks or yeah, basically linked to the way we conceptualize digital technologies. And so this work is a reflection on that. Um, it is mainly linked to the, to the idea that behind every sensors, uh, whether it is biosensors or any, any kind of sensors, uh, underlies some kind of um, potential power at play when it comes to manipulating the data that has been sensed. Um, yeah. <laughs> So those um, Physarum polycephalum can be found in every forest in the world. Um, they are a very common and very ancient form of life. Uh, you can also get them online. I chose them because they are studied through this lens of alternative computing, mostly. Um, people are trying to um, build slime mold computer and make them do computations. I think it is pretty interesting for the potential of thinking about this concept of free will versus determinism. Um, because we know already a lot about these or organisms and a lot of people use what uh, they know about it in order to make predictable outcome and to use them as logic gate or things like this. Other people also use it um, as noise generator or randomness reg generator. And I think in the digital realm, it's always pretty interesting to think about randomness and um, and yeah, when you think about unconventional computing, chaos computing, or 
um, undeterministic, non-deterministic computers. Um, slime molds is kind of uh, could be looked at it that way, I guess. Its shape uh, looks resemble a network of cable. Um, yeah, the, the way it computes space also could resemble some sort of algorithms. Um, whether they were biomimicked or is it um, our conception of, of, of this algorithm that we uh, place onto this um, organism, I don't know, but yeah, it, it has this kind of interesting link.